Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack, I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to utilize the MIDI Learn function inside Korg's gadget to map your MIDI controllers. For this demonstration, I'm gonna be using the IK Multimedia iRig Pads controller, but of course you can use any type of MIDI controller that sends out MIDI data. To get into this, we actually need a gadget to assign controllers to. And so I'm gonna add Miami, simply because I love Miami so much. In any case, I want the iRig Pads controller to be specifically assigned to this Miami gadget. And to do that, we need to go into the MIDI input settings. And it's the button in the lower left corner of the channel strip. Press that. Now we have two boxes here we can tap or click. One is for the actual MIDI input sources and one is for setting the channels. And we're going to set the input source to listen to my iRig Pads controller right there. Then we can jump out of this and normally I would assign a specific channel but in this case I don't feel the need for it since I only have one controller and I've only got one gadget loaded. Right so let's open up the Miami gadget and right down in the lower left corner we can find a button with the name function on it. When you press that and you're inside a gadget these three boxes will pop up. I'll show you what happens if you do not have the gadget open. Let's back out of here so we only have the sequencer window and the channel strip. Now when I press function again those boxes we just saw won't pop up so to do this you actually have to be inside the gadget. Let's press function again. The box we are interested in is this box right here saying MIDI CC assign and so here you can see the actual list of MIDI CCs that are already assigned to the controllers inside the Miami gadget and of course this list differs between gadgets. Okay so to go to MIDI learn mode it's very very simple just simply choose the controller you want tap it so it's highlighted if you look closely it's actually pulsating meaning this element is now ready for MIDI input so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna tweak this knob right here and as soon as I do that this number is gonna change and as you can see it now says MIDI CC 15. To save it you simply tap it again and it's saved and this gets saved globally so the changes you do here will carry on through to the next Miami gadget to load. Let me demonstrate. I'll go out of this and I'll open up another Miami gadget. Let's go into the second gadget and press the function button and if we look at the carrier sub that we assigned this knob to it says CC15 and this even carries on through if you make a new project and that's how you use MIDI Learn. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. I've also got a Patreon page, so if you want to support creativity and good content here on YouTube, then why not join up on Patreon? If that isn't your cup of tea, you can always share my videos, um, press the thumbs up, I guess. Well, that's pretty much it. If you want to see more gadget tutorials, especially on how to assign MIDI in other ways than just using the MIDI Learn, then click on the box on the left. I've got a great core gadget production series in where I'm breaking down a drum and bass track I made inside Gadget. You'll access that one if you click the box on the right. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.